Luxury shopping is an addiction. It feels so luxurious and special that once you get that sweet taste of high quality leather, soft cashmere, and flowy silks on your body, you can't go back. Well, at least you feel like you can't. But more often than not, if you are a regular person with a regular budget that is bound by a nine to five job, then there is a high chance that you have to limit yourself when it comes to luxury. That is to say, you need to find a fine balance between your luxury enthusiasm and your limited budget. I'm not here to tell you that you have to stop luxury shopping completely. I mean, let's be honest, it would not be realistic. If you've been keeping up with my videos, you already know that I'm far from stopping buying luxury. And yet, I'm also much more conscious about my purchases and picky when it comes to luxury shopping. So here I am, bringing all the tips and tricks regarding luxury shopping under budget in a single video. Without further ado, let's dive in. First of all, you need to set a budget. By setting a budget, I don't mean writing down your monthly salary and spending it carelessly. I mean allocate a specific budget that can be spared for luxury purchases that are separate from your essential spending as well as the savings. For some, this can be as low as $50. It doesn't matter how much you earn. The only thing that matters is to allocate a certain amount of money that would be comfortable to your budget for luxury purchases only. In other words, determine how much you can realistically allocate to luxury items without compromising your financial stability. Of course, in allocating your budget, prioritizing your purchases is essential. What does this mean? Well, it is obvious that any luxury purchase is far from being necessary or essential. So it is clear that luxury purchases are not priorities for your budget. But once you reach a point where you can spare some money for luxury, then you need to prioritize what kind of luxury purchase would you like to make? Do you have a specific handbag in mind or is it a specific jewelry that you have been dreaming of? Write that item down as your dream product and make a promise to yourself about saving money for this product and this product alone. Do not cave into impulse purchases that might be cheaper but will not be satisfactory in the end. If you want a $500 handbag, you want that handbag and no $100 handbag can change that fact. On that note, I would highly recommend having a wish list that you keep because writing down your dream products not only reflects the manifestation of the universe, but also enables you to see clearly how much you need, how many things you want, and how long it would take for you to buy those products. Also, I would urge you to go over your wish list regularly and see whether you still desire those items or not. Because let's be honest, if you manage to overcome impulse buying and add a product to your wish list, it is very much rare to desire that product even a day later, let alone a month later. Once you have a certain amount of money for your dream luxury purchase, I would suggest that you check out the pre-owned and vintage websites as well as outlets. There is a high chance that you can find that specific product for a remarkably low price while also making a sustainable purchase. On that note, waiting for sales would be highly smart. Look out for the months of August and February, months that are known for witnessing massive sales across various brands. Besides, do not feel like you have to buy from the upper level luxury brands exclusively. Luxury is a very broad spectrum that has lots to offer for a very wide group of people. I know that aspects like brand heritage matter a lot to some people when it comes to luxury. I agree that some brands have some very classic products that are timeless such as Hermes, Chanel, or Dior. But this does not mean that we should all exclusively seek those brands and invest in them. I mean, if you have the money to splurge, feel free to do so. But know that you do not have to go for such upper-level luxury brands to feel luxurious. Believe me, leaning towards mid-range brands such as Coach, Monsieur Gabriel, or Polen would also make you feel like the most special person ever. Besides, you would get that luxurious feeling for a way affordable price that offers high-quality products. So think outside the box when it comes to luxury and research some mid-range brands. Last but not least, always remind yourself that it is not normal to buy multiple luxury handbags in a month as some influencers tend to do. It is not sustainable, not reasonable, nor not logical in any sense for the majority of the people, including me. Luxury means exclusive and special. And if you would buy that thing regularly, it would lose all of its luxurious meaning for you. So do not beat yourself up for not being able to purchase luxury bags every month, every other month, or even every year. Sometimes it may take years for you to make your dream luxury purchase. And this is normal. This is how it's supposed to be. And once you make that purchase, make sure that you use it for years as luxury never goes out of trend. Trust me. But what do you think? Do you think these tips would be helpful to you in your luxury journey? Do you have any additional tips or recommendations for me for a sustainable luxury shopping addiction? 
Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.